The Vicam fluorometer should be calibrated every 24 hours. Turn on the fluorometer and press Options. The first option is Calibration. Press Enter. Press Select Test until the display shows Aflatest and press Enter. Calibration depends on reliable standards. Check the standards box expiration date. Keep the light sensitive standards box closed when not in use. Anything inserted to the fluorometer must be cleaned with a Kim wipe. When prompted, insert the red vial. Using the most recent procedures manual, insert the value for the red setting. When prompted, insert the green vial. Using the most recent procedures manual, insert the value for the green setting. Remove the green vial. We will now test the calibration. Press Select Test. Press Enter to select Aflatest. When prompted to insert the sample, insert the yellow vial. This will start a 60 second countdown to read the sample. After 60 seconds, you will receive a time date stamped record of calibration. Validate that the result from the yellow vial is within the range stated in the current calibration settings. Remove and store the yellow vial. If it is not in the range, check your calibration vial expiration date. All our reagents depend on clean, purified, non-fluorescent water. Pour or pipette 2 milliliters of water into a new cuvette. Insert into the fluorometer to test. After 60 seconds, validate that the result is zero. If not, seek a new source of purified water. Each test requires 250 milliliters of 60-40 mixed methanol and water. Combine six parts of HPLC grade methanol with four parts of purified water. You can premix large batches and keep in glass bottles in the lab for up to one week, or purchase a convenient premixed methanol cubetainer from Vicam. Aflatest Developer comes in a concentrate good for 30 days after opening. Mix the concentrate according to the instructions on the bottle. After mixing a batch of Aflatest Developer, it is good for 8 hours. Test the methanol and mixed Aflatest developer solution for fluorescence. Using the calibrated pump bottles, pump 1 milliliter of methanol with 1 milliliter of Aflatest developer. Insert into the fluorometer. After 60 seconds, check that the result is zero. If not, find a new source of methanol. Weigh 25 grams of ground sample and combine with 10 grams of salt. Place in the blender jar. Add 250 milliliters of 60-40 methanol and water. Cover the blender jar and blend at high speed for one minute. Remove the cover from the jar and pour the extract into the fluted filter paper. Collect the filtrate in a clean vessel. Combine 20 milliliters of filtered extract with 20 milliliters of purified water. Mix well by pouring back and forth at least three times into a clean vessel. Attach a syringe filter to the bottom of the glass syringe on the pump stand. Fold and prepare a microfiber filter and place inside of a funnel. Put this funnel on the top of the syringe barrel. Pipette or pour 
six milliliters of filtered extract into the syringe barrel. You can use the markings on the syringe barrel to measure. Attach the air pump and push the extract through the filter and collect into a new clean vessel. Attach an test column to the bottom of the syringe. The column coupler is just the column cap with the bottom cut off. Pass 4 milliliters of filtered diluted extract completely through the test column at a rate of about one drop per second until air passes through the column. You can use the syringe barrel markings to measure. Column flow rate is critical. You want a maximum of one to two drops per second. Hold on to the cap for the air pump against the top of the syringe barrel to adjust the flow rate properly. You may have to manually do this. Once air has passed through the column, remove the pressure. Add five milliliters of purified water. Apply pressure and pass one to two drops per second through the column. Repeat the previous step. Once air has passed through the column, remove pressure. Again, add an additional 5 milliliters of purified water. Apply pressure and pass 1 to 2 drops per second through the column. These steps use the water to wash away any impurities left by the sample. Remove the waste collection cup. Place a glass cuvette under the column. Cuvettes are not reusable. Dispose of properly after the test is complete. Add one milliliter of HPLC grade methanol into the syringe barrel. Elute the column at a rate of one drop per second or slower by passing the methanol through the column and collecting all the sample into that glass cuvette. After air has passed through the column, remove the cuvette. Add one milliliter of Aflatest developer solution directly to the cuvette. Mix by swirling. Do not invert the cuvette. Wipe with a Kim wipe, remember fingerprints can fluoresce, and insert into the calibrated fluorometer. This is a time sensitive step. In 60 seconds, you'll receive a time date stamped record of your results. Prepare for your next test. Dispose of the column and cuvette. They are good for one-time use only. Wash the syringe barrels with 100% methanol and flush at least twice with purified water. Clean your graduated cylinders with purified water.